I feel like the luckiest person in the world. So, uh, Dr. Cheek and Dave, thank you so much for giving me this incredible opportunity. Seven years later, that opportunity ended after three decades and a full career on Rocky Top, UT, and Holly Warlick Parkways. The university is now in unfamiliar territory, launching its first ever nationwide search for a new women's basketball head coach. In 50 years of the modern Lady Vols era, there have only been four head coaches. Joan Cronin kicked off the legacy in 1969, followed by a year later by Margaret Hudson, the legendary Pat Summit, and then her assistant turned head coach, Holly Warlick. That's just one reason why Holly Warlick's end with the balls is so significant. We turn to 10 News reporter Shannon Smith, who is on UT's campus once again with more on her impact on the program. Shannon. Guys, UT really is in uncharted territory right now because it's not like they haven't fired coaches before. They have, and they've been through coaching searches. But like you said, they've never done it for the Lady Vols before. And it's going to take a special coach to be able to uphold the legacy that the coaches before them have created over the years. And I need you right now, I want you to listen to this, to step up more than ever to support our new head coach, Holly Warlick. There aren't many shoes bigger to fill than those of Pat Summit, but her longtime assistant coach, Holly Warlick, did a pretty good job. I get to coach at a school that um, has been, always been in my blood, and, is, it, and this is my, my home. Warlick took over after 27 working years under Summit. She's a member of the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, and as head coach, the Lady Vols went to the NCAA tournament every year under her leadership. But now, she's the first Tennessee women's basketball coach to be relieved of her coaching duties. I believe it's something that kind of like was expected a little bit by the UT students. It's also a pattern that's like with UT that whenever something's like not going right, they apparently just kick somebody out, bring somebody new in. That's what it sounds like to me. Athletic director Philip Fulmer says this was a tough decision to make, saying in a statement, quote, she loves Tennessee, and Tennessee needs to always love her back. With her departure, a search for a new Lady Vols coach begins for the first time in program history. I believe like probably like attendance at the games will probably increase like a lot just because like they want to see how the new coach is going to do. And like at the end of the day, like as long as like our teams are winning, like we're all winning. Student reaction was mixed today on campus. Some really shocked by the news. Others said they saw it coming that Holly Warlick would be fired. Many also looking forward to whatever the new generation of the Lady Vols is going to be, saying they may even expect to see attendance up, like he said, to try to see more of what this new chapter of the Lady Vols team is going to be like. I'm live on campus. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Shannon Smith with that angle to our coverage. Now, Holly Warlick signed an extension to her coaching contract in August of 2018. It was to last through April of 2022. Based on that deal, she was paid about $690,000 each year, including base pay and supplemental pay. If Coach Warlick was let go without cause, she would receive a third of pay that she'd make between now and April of 2022, and that would be about a year's salary. Well, two former Lady Vols and a successful women's basketball coach. These are just three of the names floating around as the potential replacement for Holly Warlick. 10 News anchor Brandon Bates looks at some of the potential replacements for the coach who was a part of the program in one way or another for decades. Brandon. Well, Robin, the names have been circulating for quite some time as far as who could lead the Lady Vols to another championship. So we sat down with a senior writer and author to talk about these potential people that could take over. We don't have a game plan for a coaching search for Lady Vol basketball. It's never been done. UT announces that Holly Warlick is out as the women's basketball head coach. And now the rumors are circulating as to who will take her spot. And there needs to be someone who has performed at a high level and who could bring this fan base together. Maria Cornelius reports for the team and her first pick is a former Vol. I think you have to look at Kelly Jolly Harper. Kelly Harper is the current head coach at Missouri State. Her team is still alive in the NCAA tournament and she led the Lady Vols to a national championship when she played her junior year. Kelly would be my one of my first phone calls. She also will be hearing from other schools. Her second pick would be another former Vol, Nikki Caldwell. She's the head coach for the women's team at LSU and spent time as the coach at UCLA. I think Nikki in an environment like Tennessee, with all the resources and support Tennessee 
would offer, I think Nikki would do a tremendous job. In terms of a third coach, do you broaden it? Do you look at like the Rice coach? And that would be Tina Langley, the coach of the Rice Owls for the past four years. Do you look outside of the Lady Ball family? She says while she doesn't know who will take over, she has a strong feeling it will be a woman. She thinks it's possible they could hire a male, but Pat Summit recognized the importance of empowering women, and she thinks the trend will continue. She also told me that timing is going to be huge with this pick as well because some potential coaches are still in the tournament, so they would have to connect with them as soon as the tournament comes to an end. Robin and John. We'll just wait and see.